Okay, in this uh, video I'm going to uh, demonstrate the use of uh, UPS uh, WorldShip with uh, Express Cube uh, desktop uh, dimensioning scale. Uh, there's two scales that uh, are desktop style. Uh, one is uh, 265, which we're using today, and uh, there's also a 165 unit, which is a slightly smaller system, but virtually the identical uh, other than just that it's smaller. Um, we're connected uh, from the scale to uh, our computer with the USB cord and uh, we're in, plugged into U USB and um, I'm going to start uh, on the first part of this demo doing um, manual, uh, a manual uh, mode for the uh, world ship. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm in the tools bar right, or tools tab right here and I'm going to select system preferences to set up the uh, set up scale. Um, what I'm going to do is, is uh, uh, I've deselected auto mode here. I'm going to work in manual mode and uh, you can see here comport uh, selection is here. I usually pick the larger one. Uh, it's anywhere between 2 and 9 is, is best to use. You can't use a, a, a COM port over 9. It has to be in between 2 or 9. Um, uh, it, it'll automatically, because I'm plugged in through the USB, it uh, automatically is recognizing the Express Cube scale. There's other scales here um, that uh, if you're using them, they'll probably be uh, recognized and brought up in this field as well. Now, uh, important thing to do in this uh, uh, and, and starting out this process is to uh, do a test dimensioner. Often, if you're just starting to use the, unit, the program, it'll automatically uh, request that you do a test. Uh, and this, what this does is it verifies that you've got proper communication between the program on your computer and, and uh, WorldShip. Uh, sorry, from WorldShip program to the Express Cube uh, scale. So I'm going to press test dimensioner. I'm going to put a, a box, a test box on, and it'll run through this uh, this uh, process automatically. Here you see it's already popped up and brought in the uh, weight and the dim and the and the dimensions automatically. Um, now I'm going to uh, I don't want these figures to be brought into my shipping field, so I'm going to just take the um, take the box off. This shows that everything's working properly, basically. I take the box off and, and wait for these to clear and then I just click OK. And as I say, I'm going to leave this uh, auto mode unchecked so that we're working in manual. So we'll run through that process first and just uh, up here just click OK and we're done with that part of the setup. Now I've already set up uh, the company name you can it'll probably be on a company profile on a list here you need I've got a uh, ABC company um, and just a generic address etc uh, I just arbitrarily selected standard and you always have to put a description of the goods in here um, I just put in parts uh, if you don't have this filled uh, there will be a prompt uh, window pop up to prompt you to fill this part in so I usually get this done ahead of time. So you can just concentrate on the shipping part of it. Now I'm going to um, also uh, show you this activities tab here. Um, it's up in this uh, side the, between the home and the tools. Um, you select the activities tab. If this doesn't appear, usually you have to run through the uh, through the system setup and do the test um, the test dimensioner process before sometimes that tab won't appear until uh, when you first open the program until you run through the test uh, dimensioner pro and then you'll see this tab come up in between these two but this is an important tab to have open all the time while you're doing shipping because this is the get weight and dimensions button that you're going to be using especially um, uh, regularly through uh, a manual mode so I'm going to put the first box on for this company and uh, what I, I'll do, it's already uh, set here for package number one down in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get click this button, get weight and dimensions, because it's already on the scale. And it should just, re there it is, retrieved automatically, the weight here, dimensions up here. 
and then uh, I'm going to remove that box and put on a second box and uh, um, ass assume that we're doing a multi multiple piece uh, shipment. So put box number two on the scale and then I click add because this is going to be uh, the weight and dimensions for the second second piece and then again these, this field remains empty until I click weight and dimensions and it'll just bring it in automatically and there it is so I'm going to assume that we're uh, doing three piece shipment um, so I'm going to again take the box off and put on the third box now you'll see that when I'm changing boxes, putting the next box on, this this uh, these fields don't change until they're replaced by the sh the uh, dimensions and, sh and weight of the next box. They don't they don't necessarily just fall to zero or or empty uh, while you're changing boxes, even though the scale zeros. This always uh, remains with the last piece, uh, the the last components of the last shipment until you. Uh, get the uh, the dimensions and weight of the th of the next package. So we've got the third box on there now. So I'll just click Add. Uh, this this will remain empty until I click this button, and it'll bring in those uh, dimension and weight there. So that's basically how the manual mode works. Um, if I was going to go and get the fourth box, I can click this even before I put the other box on but this will always remain empty until you click this button this is the act active button uh, when you're doing uh, manual mode so I would put the fourth box on click that and those uh, weight dimensions to come in So right now, I'm going to just uh, leave the box, the scale empty, because we're going to try uh, auto mode next. And I'm just going to uh, get uh, close this, and it's going to ask if I'm going to ship this or not, and I'm going to say no, of course. And then it's here, it's asking, um, do I want to exit world ship? No, cancel. So everything's clear. I'm uh, kind of back to square. One again with uh, this, uh, all the fields empty. Uh, I'm going to again select the ABC company, my generic company, and uh, arbitrarily select standard again. And again, here I'll put in parts. And as I say, if you don't put that in, it will prompt you to uh, do that. So I'm going to go back up here to tools again system preferences so we can review our setup here and uh, what we're going to change here basically is we're just going to select auto mode at this point so we're going to try auto I'm going to just we you don't have to run through test dimensioner any more than once usually when you got the program running because it's it's just uh, a, like a primer it just uh, is used to ensure that you've got everything working there I'm just going to put a test box on and it'll uh, automatically pull those dimensions and weight in when it runs this process and there they are so I'm going to take that box off now that I know it's working okay and let these clear because I don't want these uh, dimensions necessarily dropping into my uh, shipping uh, windows so I'm just going to click OK when that's when that's done we, as I say again we we're on auto mode here so I can just click OK and we'll be running this in auto mode next. Now to do, I'm going to again click activities to get this window up. You'll see that this this button doesn't have to be used so much in auto mode. Um, what I'm going to do right now, we've got our all our uh, all our fields uh, empty there. I'm just going to put box number one on. Okay, the first box is on. Now I'm going to click add. Actually, no. I'm not going to do that because we're already at we're already at at package one. What I'm going to do is click get weight and dimensions for filling in the first package, and there it's in already. Okay. Now, the tricky thing with uh, auto mode is that you don't have to keep going up to click this button uh, like you did in manual. You only have to click add. So to get, or I'm going to put the second box on now, and even though the 
scale is zero, uh, it still leaves the, the previous uh, box uh, uh, dimensions and weight on there until you, until you put in the second set of dimensions. So we're, now we put on the second box, um, and I can just click Add for the second package because I want to add the second package into this shipment. And what's different about this is that when you do that, it automatically uh, does what this button would have done. So you don't have to go up and click that. This this is just a bit of a faster process. So uh, as soon as I click Add, second package uh, details are already filled in. So I'm going to assume we're say doing three sh piece sh shipment here. So I'm going to take this box off, put the next box on, third box. And then I'm just going to click Add again for adding the third package into the shipment. And here again, it's brought in the weight and dimensions automatically. And this, you'll notice that this button always remains grayed out until you um, have cleared the scale. So if I say I'm going to do a fourth box, I'm going to take that bo third box off, put the fourth box on. And you'll see when I've done that, it basically this kind of tells you that you're ready to bring in the next set of shipment, next set of, uh, com uh, of details for the fourth package or whatever. Uh, you could click that, but we just kind of click this because we want to add in the fourth package. And uh, as soon as we do that, this stays grayed out. So you can't, you, if you click on it, it doesn't do anything because uh, it's waiting till you're ready for the next uh, piece of the shipment to go on. So we we this is just demonstrating the four piece shipment for this uh, auto mode situation. So that that uh, get that, that that basically is uh, what we do for um, for auto mode. And as I say, for manual you ha usually have to use this button. For auto mode, you uh, you just have to click add, and it'll come in automatically to kind of speed the process up, process up a little bit. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks very much.